So in this video I'll show you how to create a site for Zeronet. I've showed you in a previous video uh, a few of the websites on Zeronet and I'll link that and I also showed you what Zeronet is. Uh, this is part of a playlist so if you want to know more about uh, Zeronet there's a playlist link in the description. So if you want to publish a site for Zeronet presuming you know how to make a website this is not going to go in depth on how to make a website However, there is a very simple way. So like if you clone a website that you like the look of, like the blog, you can then clone a blog and now you have a you have a blog which you can then add posts to. And it's as simple as just adding the post and then you then have um you know let's do that first. Sorry. Edit test post so there you go just click save now this post here was my first post on the website it's very simple to do however this isn't like ideal for every single person uh, if you want to actually create a website uh, from scratch sorry I accidentally clicked off that tab uh, so if you want to make a website from scratch what you'd want to do is like you know make the HTML and CSS and other things yourself so the way you'd do that is you go to the directory which you installed zero bundle or however you installed zero net then you need to open up a command um, prompt so you can do this by holding down shift right clicking and then going open command window here and you open a command window. You can also, when you're in your directory, put in CMD, and that op also opens up a command window. So now you've got the command window open, you put in zero net site create, and then when you click enter, you then have created uh, or at least started the creation of a website. So you get given a private key and a, your site web address. So it's a public web address. So that's what you'd put in the browser to get access to your website. And then this um, private key is what you should not share with anyone at all. So you've got to save it, preferably in a safe place, you know, not where somebody else would see it. Um, uh, that's up to you how you save it, but you need you need to be in a secure place and do not give it to anyone else. Um, and then once you've then had your key saved, so I'll, I'll save it. You say yes, and you've you've securely saved your uh, key. Now you've then got the website one f whatever. So if we go to the zero bundle, go to zero net data, and then we need to go to one f what is it 1f I think that's the one 1f f9 whatever so here here is the folder for your zero net website now if you were creating um, if you wanted to have a custom start of this name you can do that using vanity tools to create uh, that and you can also uh, use a brain wallet so the one I'd recommend if you're going to use a brain wallet so is warp wallet so in this case you have you put in like a password so I'll just put in test and then you put in like your email or well, you don't need to put in your email uh, just put test one two three you click and then it, what it does is it uses um, a complicated algorithm for your computer and then create gives you a public and private key uh, in Bitcoin and seen as Zeronet uses Bitcoin uh, that would be like the domain name or the public address and that would be the private key again I, will, I, will, I probably won't hide these ones because you can easily create them uh, if you want to use um, other uh, keys what you'd then do is you like right click rename and change that to your public address get as given there so now once you're in here 
you then have an index HTML. If you edit this, so this is hello that, and I'll just put in, hey, yeah. And then save that. Now I'll minimize that. And now I've saved this, so I've, I've edited it. However, it's not edited publicly. So if we actually remember our public address, now that was the private key. Um, what was the public address? If I refresh this, maybe it will be on here. 1FS, that's the one. So if I click on this, it will already says hey yeah because that's the one that I have locally however that actually isn't uh, the correct one if that makes sense so because if somebody else wanted that the would they wouldn't get the updated version because I haven't yet updated it uh, it's a little bit bit complicated but not too complicated to understand um, so if this is your site and you want to update it you need to oh yeah just call, call the site whatever and you need to then sign the website however then you put in the private key the thing that they told you to save click sign and then you've signed it and then you just publish it and then that publishes it to the network however because I just created the website there's nobody else uh, so then what I would need to do if, if, if somebody wants to see this is just give them this URL, this URL and they then they will be able to access my website so the new updated version that says hey yeah will be accessible by them However, if I didn't do the thing here, if when I clicked sign and publish, there is, then they would not get the one with hey yeah, because, and they also wouldn't, yeah, they wouldn't get the one with hey yeah, because you need to sign and publish it when you release the website. Now, if I just re refresh, maybe it won't have hey, here we go. It's updating, but it's on my computer because there's, there's nothing left to update. Anyway, so I think the, the video is getting a bit on. There's some documentation that I'll also put uh, in the description, but I think that they're the basics. Any website that you like, you can clone. And also, without installing Python or anything, you can create a website um, and have a unique domain name. And I've also showed you how you can change that so you can use it like a custom vanity one if you want to use a script and also if you want to use it from a brain wallet which means that you don't actually need to save the private key somewhere you can just store the little information in your brain use warp wallet which is the one I recommend to use and then create a private key and, oh, and that's what you use to sign it with your private key so if you like the video give it a like and I have a lot more content like this that I can make uh, which is high quality so I would recommend you to subscribe I put two videos on the screen one of which is some awesome uh, websites that have already been made for zero net uh, just to give you ins inspiration if you want to make a video sorry if you want to make a website and I've also put on how to use Tor with zero net um, so if you're publishing a website and you want your IP to be a bit more secure than usual you can publish your website through Tor that simply means uh, that your IP will be hidden so thanks for watching do like the video um, and goodbye